Sketch the function f of x is equal to negative one-third of x plus two squared by x minus three cubed. So first, let's identify the zeros of this function and their respective multiplicity. Since I see a factor of x plus two, I know that I have a zero. I have a zero at negative two. And then its multiplicity is being raised to the second power, so it has a multiplicity of two. And my second factor, x minus three, gives me a zero of three and a multiplicity of three, looking at the exponent. So now the multiplicities tell us how the polynomial behaves near the zeros. Let's also take into account the degree. The degree of the polynomial is two plus three. The degree is five. All right, again, looking at the exponents. So the degree is five. And since the lead coefficient is less than zero, that tells me that my end behavior will be up on the left and down on the right. All right, so let's start by plotting the intercepts, or the x-intercepts at least. So I have an x-intercept at negative two and another x-intercept at three. The end behavior is up on the left and down on the right. So the rest has to fit in there. Now, I have a zero at negative two and it has a multiplicity of two. When you have an even multiplicity on a zero, the curve does not pass through that x-intercept, but rather touches and bounces off. So my curve would start from the top, bounce off. Now it's got to come it's got to come back down and hit that other x-intercept. So it's going to probably go up for a little while and then come back down. Now, what happens at three? Since we have a multiplicity of three, the, which is odd, the curve will pass through the intercept. But since it's greater than one, the curve will flatten out some as it passes through. So there's a rough sketch of the curve. We might also want to know what is the y-intercept. Well, to find the y-intercept, we evaluate f of zero. And so that would be negative one-third by zero plus two, so that's two squared, by zero minus three, so that's negative three cubed. And so that would be negative one-third by four by negative 27 and so that's positive 54. No, it's not, sorry, it's positive 36. So this point here is 0, 36. Let's see another example. example. Sketch f of x is equal to x cubed by x plus 2 by x minus 3 squared. So again, let's identify the zeros and their multiplicity. So let's see, x cubed. When we see just the x by itself raised to a power, that tells us we have a zero at zero. The multiplicity would be three. x plus two, so negative two is a zero, and the multiplicity there is one and then I have a zero of three with multiplicity two. The degree is three plus one plus two. The degree is six. 
And let's see my lead coefficient. is positive 1 since we don't see anything so positive 1 is, is greater than 0 I should say there. So taking the degree and the lead coefficient into account then the end behavior is up, up. All right, plotting the zeros. I have a zero at zero. I have a zero at negative two. I have a zero at three. And behavior, curve starts at the top left. Now at negative two, it has multiplicity one. So it's going to just pass through the curve. It doesn't flatten out. It's going to go down for a while and come back up. Now, as I approach 0, I have multiplicity 3. So it's going to come up, flatten out, and continue increasing. Go up for a while and then come back down. And as it approaches 3, we have multiplicity 2, so it will bounce off and go on to positive infinity. And behavior checks out, so this seems like a reasonable sketch for the curve.